baby. And we have a new backdrop today. Can you tell I'm totally in the Halloween spirit right now? I got a pumpkin shirt and this backdrop has moons and bats all over it. So it's not like super extreme Halloween vibes, but we're halfway there. I didn't want to freak out the people who weren't ready for Halloween yet. So we got like some baby Halloween happening behind us. And obviously the backdrop in October is gonna be like extreme Halloween. So we got some bats poking through. So because we have a new backdrop, that means I'm going to be announcing the winner for last month's backdrop. The contest was over on my new Instagram page called The Whimsy Wonders. And the winner is Jocelyn Webb. Congratulations. And I also just wanna thank everybody for following that account. I have made my very first post. I made eight handmade jewelry pieces. They're kind of in an oil spill style. They're all moons and I literally made these from scratch. I got all the cool oil spill looking beads, added chain, got the pendant, put on the clasps. I even have this little Jesse V charm on the very end. Here is more of a close-up view of it. It has these little dangly charms on the side. So I only made eight of them. I'm not going to be making any more of that style. So if you're interested in purchasing one, check out that Instagram page because the Etsy link is in the description. And before we move on, I just want to talk about the price point very, very quickly. These are handmade items, so they take hours to make. I have to buy each little bead and clasp and pendant because these to me are more like an art piece because they take so much time. It costs more to buy the different pieces. So just in case you're wondering like why it's like a higher price point, if you speak to anybody who makes handmade jewelry, unfortunately you have to make it at that price because of the time and effort and money that goes into it. So if you are one of the eight people that get this necklace, please tag me in a picture when you get it. All right, and if you would like to win this new partial Halloween backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to the Whimsy Wonders Instagram page and comment whatever you want on the very first picture that I posted. And that is how you'll be entered to win this backdrop. So without further ado, let's get into this video. We're gonna be talking about gummy bears. You guys know I talk about anything and everything on this channel, so this shouldn't surprise you. So let's get into a little bit of gummy bear history. Back in 1920, in a small town in Germany, lived a man named Hans Riegel, who spent his days working in a candy factory. Now, he was super bored and uninterested in this job, so he decided to take it into his own hands and make his own candy. He started off by making hard candies that he would sell at street fairs or would deliver around the town on his bicycle. But unfortunately, these hard candies weren't selling very well, so he decided to change them up a bit. Instead of hard candies, he decided to make gummy candies in the shape of bears, and he named his company Haribu. Now, he first named these gummy bears Dancing Bears, and this is where things take a very dark turn. This actually broke my heart while I was doing research for this video. In Europe, following World War I, Dancing Bears were quite the attraction. And people didn't see anything wrong with this back then, which is crazy to me. I mean, this stuff wouldn't fly nowadays. The bears would often be chained or made to wear silly clothing, and usually they would remove their teeth entirely so that they wouldn't be a threat to the people watching them. Literally doing research for this video, I was like crying, and I can't even show you the pictures I was looking at because it's so hard to see. But nevertheless, the bears were a very popular attraction at fairs and carnivals in most European cities. Like, people would love to go watch these bears being forced to dance in front of people. And that's what gummy bears are based off of. Take that in for a second. I absolutely had no idea about that dark history, and I feel like I'm almost gonna be grossed out by eating them now that I know that because I don't want to support something like that. But yes, the name Dancing Bears was later changed to just gummy bears, and they're not associated with that stuff anymore. But I don't know, guys. I just still feel weird about it. But just to keep me safe, none of this stuff has been confirmed by this brand. <laughs> okay, so gummy bears became a huge hit and they actually came out with this TV show. And if any of you guys remember watching this, it was such a strange 
show. It was called The Adventures of the Gummy Bears. This was a Disney television series that aired in the United States from 1985 to 1991. There were four seasons of this show and it actually did really, really well. It's literally about this group of gummy bears that live in a land called Gummy Glen inside a hollow tree. And there were two episodes that featured characters that scared kids so much that I think they had to take them off the air. There was one called Night of the Gargoyle, which is about this cursed gargoyle that was sent to the king. And during the night, he comes alive and tries to destroy things around the castle, including the king. And then there was another episode about the Carpy King. And he's one of the main villains of the show. And he looks like this evil vulture thing. So those were two characters that really freaked people out. I kind of remember this show from my childhood. It was a little bit strange. Next, we're going to talk about a story that actually happened to me when I was in elementary school and we're gonna title it The Locker Mystery. So for those of you who miss my story times, here you go. <laughs> Back when I was in grade five, we had this strange locker mystery going on at our school. About halfway through the school year, people started smelling something weird coming from one of the locker hallways. Now there were probably about 50 lockers in each hallway, so it was really hard to distinguish where the smell was actually coming from. I remember this one day, our teacher stood up in front of the class and was like, all right guys, the locker hallway smells terrible and I don't know whose locker it's coming from. So today we're all gonna clean out our lockers. So get out there in the hallway and clean. So he brought a bunch of garbage cans and cleaning supplies into the hallway and we all spent about an hour cleaning out our individual lockers. And honestly, things started to smell a little bit better for about a day or so. But the next day the smell was back and even worse. We also had this disgusting ant infestation. Like we would all be walking through the hallways and we'd see these lines of ants walking beneath us. It was just so disgusting. And my teacher was really fed up at this point, so he decided he was going to follow the trail of ants to see whose locker they were going to. So the ants led him to this girl's locker. We're gonna call her Erica. Erica with the stinky locker. So he looks at Erica and he's like, So, what am I gonna find in your locker? And she was like, Oh, nothing, nothing's there. There's nothing in there, nothing, nothing. So he asked her to open it. And guys, when I tell you she had gummy bear world in her locker, I'm not even over exaggerating. She had this shelf at the top of her locker where she had this setup of literal gummy bears all over the top to make it look like a gummy bear town. Like she had a mini gummy bear salon, a gummy bear school, and no one knew how long she had set up this gummy bear display in her locker. So they were definitely stale and definitely filled with bugs, which was disgusting. And I remember the teacher being like, Erica, why did you do this? And she was like, some people play with Barbies. I play with gummy bears. Like I could not make this up. So yeah, I just had to include this in the video because it is kind of creepy. And listen, I praise people for embracing their weird side, being strange and unusual. But when it comes to leaving out food, you just don't do that. All right, let's talk about the gummy bear skeleton that was going around the internet a few years ago. There's this gummy bear anatomy puzzle toy available to buy that everyone was talking about. It's designed by artist and designer Jason Freeney. Now this is literally the description of this product. It says, learn all about the anatomy of those delicious flute, flute fruit flavored candies. The bear features a sturdy clear plastic case that serves as the skin that holds the skeleton and organs in place. The skull cap can be removed to expose the brain. The brain can be removed and splits apart into two pieces. These organs are solid and durable. How about no thank you? All right, lastly, we're gonna be talking about a creepy gummy bear game glitch. This comes from the game Gummy Bear Mini Golf. You heard that right. Now, this game came out in 2009 or 2010, and not a lot of people knew about it. It wasn't a popular game. It really didn't sell very many. But for those people who did purchase and buy this game, they gave it a very bad review. No one liked it. It didn't work very well. Like during my research for this video, people were giving it one star and asking for their money back. And I I found this really strange review slash story from this guy who had originally bought this game from a garage sale for $2. Why is every creepy game bought from a garage sale? Anyways, he brought it home and decided he would just try it out on his Wii. But when he got home and started playing it, he immediately noticed that something was very off about it. Now, it was pretty glitchy to start with, but that could have just been the problem with the game. It could have been that the person before him didn't take very good care of it. So glitches were one thing, but he 
he also noticed this very creepy thing where whenever he would get his golf ball into a hole, this strange celebration music would start playing and the bear would slowly turn its head all the way around to look directly at you and it would just sway there for a few minutes looking at you while this creepy celebration music was playing. And the game wouldn't let you continue or exit or skip that part until the gummy bear was done looking at you. He also noticed there was this strange figure that was standing in one of the castle windows in the background. And it would only show up for a split second whenever the game would glitch. And yeah, this whole game just gave him some very weird vibes, so he literally threw it out the same day that he got it. And I don't know, maybe there's nothing paranormal that has to do with it. Maybe it's just a glitchy game that doesn't work well. But this guy swears there was something very off about this particular copy of the game. And I find this kind of funny because what a weird problem to have. A paranormal gummy bear golf game. If any of you guys have ever played this game, please comment down below if you experienced any of these weird glitches. But yeah, those are all of the weird and creepy things we're going to be talking about for gummy bears today. It was hard to find like legit creepy pastors or really scary things because guys, it's just gummy bears. But if I missed any really scary things, definitely comment them down below. And don't forget if you would like to win this backdrop behind me, all you have to do is follow the Whimsy Wonders Instagram account and comment anything you want on the very first picture I posted. And yeah, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!